Hello and welcome to Atipso. Thanks for your sign up. Um, thanks for installing uh, Atipso to your SEO shop. My name is Norbert. I'm the founder of Atipso. And uh, in the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how easy you can use Atipso to get more conversions in your SEO shop. Well, um, please really watch this short video. I'll keep it short, productive, uh, um, so that you really can start away and take over an action item, which you can use right away. So, when you access a tip so the next time you will see this project overview. When you click on the project named after your shop, you will see the project dashboard. Right within the dashboard you have several options. For example, adding a page, adding content uh, with a page or uh, different contest types like a sweepstake or a quiz. Um, in our case I will demonstrate you how to add content to add an exit pop-up for your cart. Uh, we'll do it a bit later. Uh, the next section is uh, the connection section. So here you can add, for example, a Facebook fan page or a domain. Um, so you can also publish different content to other channels. You also can invite other editors who can help you work on uh, this project. So when you invite someone, he only has access to CEO Shop uh, 54357, um, so only to the project itself. And uh, you see the activity in the project, so uh, about uh, visitors, how many visitors you had, and how many unique visitors. You also have a section, a settings panel, just click on it. Here you can upload your very own fonts by just clicking this plus or choose Google fonts. And you can do some pre-styling, so um, you will see the page builder later. Um, and you can pre-style all the widgets of the page builder here. So for example, a headline, how it should look like, um, uh, the overall text, how it should look like, and also the form fields um, and different other things. So just play around with it a bit. And now go back to the project dashboard. Well, here you can add, for example, a new page. I want to build an exit intent, as I told you before. So I just say add page. Then I give it a name, uh, let's say coupon, uh, exit pop-up for the cart. This is just an informal, informal thing for me. So this is what I want to do. Click on next. Um, then I can start right away with an empty page or I choose from the different categories of the templates and choose Exit Intent, for example. Just click on Next, and then the final step is that the page builder loads. So you can use this page builder to create your content, to find you and everything, to start designing. Uh, it's a very intuitive thing. On the left side, you have all the widgets we have. Uh, then you drop the widgets, you drag the widgets and drop it into the canvas. And on the canvas, you just click into a widget to edit it. Or, and uh, see on the right side, uh, the different settings you can play around with. For example, to change uh, the font or the uh, alignment. So let's say alignment is right, then it would swipe here. Okay, <clears throat> to put some content, you can add, for example, another container. In the container, you put a headline, uh, you put some text in here, um, you can uh, spread to different columns, so we've got two com columns here, uh, move it around. You even can move it um, uh, right within the blocks. So, um, in this case, I don't need any additional content, I delete this again. Uh, because I only need this and I want don't want to sign up but just want to give away a coupon for example so I go in here I delete this field I delete that field I delete the spacing um, and I want to give away a five uh, ten percent uh, off uh, order now um, order now and use this coupon code to get 10% discount only valid today. Um, so put in here and yeah we need of course some code. I will use a headline widget there um, with uh, just another styling 25 and the font is white and 
I will center it and just add a coupon code which looks like a coupon code. Of course you need to add this coupon code to your SEO shop uh, so that it's really getting 10% off the order and I will put an image there from our shop uh, so just um, get an uh, image widget in place here and I select another image I upload it all one from from the web shop um, and I also will edit this column because there's some spacing I don't like it um, so I edit the column and I see that there's some spacing I just remove it here uh, of course you can add some additional spacing just by clicking around or typing in the numbers so this is my uh, exit pop-up I like it as it is and I click on save so mainly the design is finished so um, I like it and now you can go to the publish section so just hover here and go to publish in the publish area you can either publish it on Facebook you can have a custom URL you have, have a predefined URL so for landing pages or PPC campaigns you also can use the tip so quite well but what we re need right now is that dynamic embedding so uh, this code is in place on your CR shop already when you install the app then we uh, inject this code there so um, just click on this plus button to add a new um, interaction in this case we want to have an exit intent so uh, I just click on exit intent and if I just click on save then the exit intent would be active for my whole web shop on every single URL this is what I do not want so I just want to have the exit intent on my cart page so I choose specific URL I go to my web shop and I need to put something to the cart or click on the cart to have um, uh, the URL displayed here um, and I copy this URL go back to a tip so paste it here and say okay I only want to have this maximum of two times per user so that we do not uh, um, make it too often with a single user we can limit this so two times is okay click on save and this exit intent is in place um, I go back to the card um, to, to my web shop just refresh the page and uh, as you can see right now I'm about to leave the page because I do not want to, do not want to buy this torch <laughs> and voila the accident and appears and hey there's a coupon code I get 10% off right now that's cool um, I will copy it and use it so uh, I will get some discount uh, you can do whatever you want you can uh, let the user subscribe to your newsletter send them a uh, coupon code uh, or whatever you you think uh, is, is good for you um, and for your user so you also can use the same thing several times so uh, for example if you want to have um, an app button to present your coupon code then create an app button um, you will show it for the whole web shop in this case it should be positioned on the right side there should be an orange background the label is coupon here uh, the text color is white um, big size and the um, yeah Helvetica font for example click on save button is in place I just need to refresh the page and you see oh here is a coupon button um, and it's all over the whole web shop so you can just click it and voila you have the pop-up appearing here uh, yeah that's mainly um, the first step I, I wanted to show you so this is something you can do right away um, and you can start with it right now try to create your first exit pop-up uh, if you have any further questions on how to use a tip so some ideas uh, or some feature requests just drop an email to support at the tipsa.com and of course we also have a help, help section just click here in the background on support to be redirected to our help section um, you will find the CEO shop uh, section there um, where we have some other tutorials on how to build a landing page uh, or create some other different things like the newsletter signups uh, with sending email texts uh, to your users right away Okay, so um, 
I wish you a lot of mm, good conversions and a good time and yeah, hope to hear you soon. Bye bye.